hello. It's good to see you. Today we are going to be taking a look at some shoes. And these are little page-a-day calendar sheets from 2016. I've had these for a while, obviously. And um, I made a video with some of these a long time ago. And um, I put them away, and then I forgot that I had them, and I didn't do any more. <laughs> but I found them the other day, and I thought, wouldn't it be cool to do some more of these? And these are actually really neat. This is the little clear piece that goes on the back of this. This piece right here holds the individual sheets. See, they're, they're just stacked in there. They're not attached to each other, so it makes it really easy to just take one out at a time. So there are a lot in here, and we're not going to get through all of them, but I thought it would be fun just to take a look at some of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these pieces out of the way and get a little stack of these for us to look at. Okay, here we go. Now each of these sheets has some on the back as well. So you go through the first round and then you flip them over and you have the second half of the year. So we're just going to look at these one at a time. Look at these shoes. My goodness, these are something. <laughs> I need a haircut. Okay, and then up in the, this section here, we have an information about the shoes. Now, a lot of these have names that I've never seen because I do not make enough money to know who these people are who make these shoes. So I'm just going to do the best I can. But just remember, for every word I mispronounce, a flower blooms. Every word you point out that I mispronounce, a puppy stubs his toe. So just keep the world in balance. These are avant-garde suede high heel ankle boots with West African colobus monkey fur. Elsa Sh Chiarapelli with Andre Perugia. These were made in 1938, so I imagine these are not being made anymore. My goodness, they look, they look uncomfortable. It looks like you would walk on the hair, but you can kind of see here the heel on this one. It's a fairly high little heel there on those boots. So they're suede, and then they have this monkey fur on them. Now this was a weekend page from August of 2016. And on the back, we have this little flat. Now these are from another weekend in May. These, these shoes are a zebra print pony hair ballet flat with pancake heel, which you know, is just a super flat heel. These were made by Joanne Stoker in 2014. That's a nice print, like the little, the little stripes on it there. Oh, these are neat. Look at these. Wow. They're shiny, too. Oh, my. That's quite a heel. And you can see that it's cut out. These are patent leather laser-cut fleur peep-toe booties. You can see the little toe is going to peep out there. These are from Liam Fahey, 2014. Boy, they're very shiny. Oh, wouldn't these be nice for spring? These are beautiful. These are jasmine sandals with a vintage Japanese silk kimono fabric. It's beautiful colors. Look at that. The nice geometric print there. Pink with a little bit of um, almost like a salmon color. I love this beautiful yellow sole. And then the heel is white. These were made by Hetty Rose. 2014. Okay. Oh my, I like these too. Now these are from Tuesday, August 23rd. Really pretty. Look at, oh, that has a beautiful gold buckle there. And again, the heel looks like it's either white or kind of a cream color. And then the inside, the sole here is a nice taupe, as is the inside of the strap. It's an interesting print. 
smells weird. These are azalea slingback sandals made with vintage Japanese silk kimono fabric. Again, these are made by Hetty Rose, 2014. It's a beautiful buckle. It's such an interesting combination of colors. You have this white background, and then these just look like pine needles, kind of. And then you have this navy blue and white, and this nice rust color too, and then green and sort of a yellowish color. Those are neat. All oh, these boots are cool. I would wear these. I would so wear these. They have a little gold piece on the heel. These are beautiful. I can tell already I can't afford them, but they're gorgeous boots. Look at the, you know, going up the leg here, you have these two buckles. Those are beautiful. And it's kind of has this quilted look to it on the top. These are gamma Gama boots with patent and quilted leather and a crepe body with a block heel. They are from Lawrence Decade, Decade, 2014. They are beautiful. Oh my gosh, those are awesome boots. Oh dear. <laughs> oh my goodness, it looks like this shoe had a little accident. These are from August. Look, it's like it, it's like icicles coming down with like ink in them or something. So this is your soul, I guess, and your foot is going to be way up here. These are handmade python cantilevered peep toe icicle booties with metal icicle quote unquote heel from Schwaz. 2014. My goodness. So this is metal. Oh my gosh. So this part, I guess, is the python stuff. And it does have the little peep toes, so your little toes are going to stick out there. They just don't look comfortable. I cannot imagine. You know, that shoe is going to make you like eight inches taller than normal. <laughs> or it seems like it would be. That's crazy. That's definitely, um, Interesting. Oh, wow. Look at these. Look at all those eyes. Look at all the eyeballs on there. Oh, my word. I don't know why, but they make me think of Cookie Monster. Something's right in here just looking at that. It makes me think of Cookie Monster from Sesame Street. So it's, it's kind of like the evil eye times a thousand. You just have little blue eyes all over these shoes. It has an interesting heel, so it kind of comes way up here. Comes in, then it sticks out and comes down. These are All Eyes on Me. Repurposed pump with acrylic eyes by Elvira Rejek, 2015. Boy, they are interesting. You even have eyes up under here on the underside. Surely they're not on the... No, you wouldn't put them on the very bottom and make them slippery. I've never seen a pair of shoes like that. That's really cool. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's a nice little functional shoe. It's not too bad. So you have this nice woven bit here. These are leather Mojave Espadrille sneakers with domed studs in silver. These are from Stuart Weitzman, 2014. It's really cool. So it looks like we're still in August up here. Here's a little pull tab back here where you can help you, it'll help you get your shoes off and on. You can just grab that little pull tab. And then you just have this little, looks like a cotton cord for a shoelace. Ooh. These are interesting too, my goodness. Wow. Now these are vintage. These are actual vintage um, boots here. These are some of the ones that have all those buttons on them. I bet they took forever to put on and off because you see there's no zipper. You have to undo all the buttons and then do them back up when you put them back on. These are gold and white kid skin ladies button up boots with a Louis heel. From Weatherby, circa 1915. Boy, 
I bet they're tiny too. Women's feet were smaller. Well, people in general were smaller back then. <laughs> they're cool though. Oh, I love the color of this. Look at, you have all these different shades of red in here. These are neat. They kind of look like lava. They make me think of lava. And then you have the little st st straps up here with the buckles. You have one here, way up here on the ankle. And then another one down here, and one here. And quite a high heel on it, too. These are crocodile printed leather Miss Cat pumps with triple Mary Jane straps by Aperly, Aperly 2014. They're cute. Oh, that one looks like fun. Look at that. It's a little poofy thing on the back, a little pom-pom thingy-majiggy on the back. I think it has two balls. That's, that's always better. Because it looks like there's one back behind it. And you have this blue spoofy thing here and then this darker one. I think it has two balls. At least it may be three. We don't know. Sometimes there are three. Now, again, it's a beautiful pump. I love the shape. Look how pretty that is. It's very nice. Got the little pointy toe there. These are snakeskin pumps with rabbit fur pom poms. And they are also from Eperly, whatever, Frank, I don't know. 2014. We'll just call him Frank. I don't know. And another little pump with all kinds of really pretty prints on here. It looks like it's mainly an ivory color. I like how the heel kind of comes down like that. The only problem is I've had some shoes like this and it just seems like the heel messes up faster on these because I guess the weight, maybe it's distributed weird or maybe I just buy cheap shoes. I don't know. Um... But yeah, it's nice. Is that a fabric upper? Oh, I don't know. Oh, let's see here. Yes, they are. It's a canvas pump with Memphis Group inspired print and a comma heel. It does look like a comma. These are from Walter Steiger, mid-1980s. Well, that definitely looks like the mid-80s right there. If you remember the studio line from L'Oreal, their hair products, all the bottles of the studio products kind of look like that. I still remember the commercial. Oh my god, I'm so old. Oh, now these are adorable. Oh my gosh, I love these. Look how little skinny and flat they are. They are so cute. These are, let's see, bright patent leather T-Sime T-Strap flats with a low-cut vamp. And these are from Stuart Weitzman, 2014. They're very shiny. You can see that right there. They look vintage to me. They look like something from the 40s or something with the little thin strap on them. They just look like some my grandmother would have had in the back of her closet or something. Oh, I know. This is a cool boot. I love boots. I don't know if you've noticed. I, I love boots. I have a special place in my heart for boots. These are so cool. Look at them. It's like Frankenstein put them together. You have these different sections, and you have these the little rivets on here. Oh, and I think some of them have rhinestones. Are they all the same? They almost look like little rhinestones. These are beautiful boots. Little heel there. These are suede rivet booties with small metal ribbit. Rib, ribbit. It's not a frog. Small metal rivets studying each leather piece. Well, some of them kind of look like little um, rhinestones, but I guess it's the way the light shines on them, and it doesn't look as reflective as some of the others. These were made by United Nude 2014. That's a pretty boot. Oh my, look at these shoes. Wow, Oxford. Now, these have interesting prints. You'll see they're not the same. You know, they're both a little different. I love the purple shoelaces. That is so cool. Oh, and the inside is silver, too. This a, That's a little spiffy pair of shoes. I would wear these. I would totally wear this pair of shoes. These are floral printed 
canvas, Oxfords, a lover's bouquet, and they are made with leather trim. You can see it right here and around the edges too. These are made by Oded Arama, 2014. Very unique. I bet each shoe is different. Oh, here's some flats. These have to be vintage. This, yeah. This looks like something that people would have worn back when I was in high school, back in the 80s and um, early 90s. You see the print on here? It's really cool. Oh, you have all these different colors of leather. And the inside, this part is black. And then this back part, um, it's like brown suede. So it's kind of a low little, it's kind of a low heel. Okay, up here it says these are a leather low heel slip on with Egyptian themed leather applique. And they're from Margaret Gerald. Yep, 1980s. Yeah, definitely. That's cool. Wow, that's impressive. Look at the platform on there. That's beautiful, too. I love the curve on the back coming down to the bottom of the heel. That is gorgeous. Oh, and I like the, the effect here. These little pieces. And then you have them down here as well. This is like a textured upper. And then the inside is red. Oh, that's striking. These are... Textured leather, techno, preludique, platform, peep, oh, it's a peep toe with a heel fin from Mihai Albu, 2011. I do like the little peep toe and I love the red on the inside. That is such a snazzy touch. That is so sassy. Yeah, this, um, oh, it has a heel fin. These two pieces are not the same width. It's almost like a silhouette. Oh, this, you know what? This isn't even part of it. It is. It's like a fin. I don't know why I'm just now seeing that. For some reason, I was thinking this was the back of the shoe. It's not. This is the back. And it is just a fin, like a little thing. It's like a little shark fin. And it's a different width than the actual heel of the shoe. <laughs> that is interesting. <laughs> That's a cool shoe. Oh gosh, this looks like scaffolding or something. <laughs> now this heel, look at that. Not even attached, my goodness. Okay, so you have this part that goes up your leg here, and it has some clear straps on it as well. It looks like it maybe buttons together here, or there might be a zipper or something in there. Then you have this... This has got to be metal. I bet this is all metal right here. This is one solid piece, so it doesn't have to join together. These are suede and plastic illusion pumps with a leather cage shaft from Jenna Livin Livinen, Livinen, 2012. I like the pretty dark blue. It's almost a violet color. And then this part down here is clear. That is an interesting shoe. And then this part up here is black with the blue up here and down there. And then this part is um, silver. Oh, this heel. I like these colors too. It's kind of like a watermelon. You have this green. You have these green little flowers on the top. And that skinny little strap. And then this pink here. And the heel matches the flowers. Very, very nice for springtime. These are silk satin T-strap sandals with rosette ornaments from Roger Vivier for House of Dior, 1958. Ooh. Oh, that would look pretty with a 50s uh, vintage dress. That'd be so pretty. I like that. I like that better. Than that. I don't really like that. This one's cool. I like that. Oh, these look like something elves would an elf would wear. Oh, hey. It's like an elf ear. <laughs> That's cool, though. Look at that. So it comes down here to a point, and you just slip your foot in there, and the heel is very skinny. Comes down like this, 
kind of goes way out here and then it tapers delicately down to here. That's cool. These are metallic kid leather spike heeled booties with a pointed quarter from Jan Jansen, 1996. This looks like something from the 60s or something. I don't know. It looks like something they would have worn like in an outer space movie or something. Oh, I like this better. These are cute little ankle boots. Look at that blocky heel. It's literally like a block of wood. It's like you're stepping on a block of wood. Like this is independent of that. Now this is a, an interesting combination. You have this brown and then you have this black elastic stretchy stuff and it's paired with this shiny silver. That's an interesting combination of colors. And then you have this dark brown heel. These are leather jacky ankle boots with a metallic quarter and geometric block heel from United Nude. They're the ones who did those other boots with the little rivets. 2014. I've never heard of them, but I like their little boots. Oh, wow. These are cool. These have to be vintage. I look at them before I read that. Look at the squared toe and you have the little fleur-de-lis pattern on here. These are a really pretty ivory color and they have a chunky heel, not too high. These are leather square toe pumps with rhinestone fleur-de-lis, crystal ball, crystal ball balance, balance, balanceaga for Pinalba. 1972. Well, they're just a little older than me. 1972. That looks about right. Oh, look at that. Isn't that fancy? Ooh, it makes me think of those skirts. You know, you can just twirl them and they, you know, how you know how they do. The skirts that do that. Or the ribbons, you know, the, the ribbons on the stick, you know, you can twirl them in the air. Makes me think of that. Now this shoe is a beautiful blue, it's like peacock feathers, and it has this little spiky golden heel and rhinestones of all different sizes coming together at the point of the shoe. It's almost like a starry sky. There's a really big one right there. And they don't have any up here, it's just they all just kind of come together down here. That is a snazzy shoe. This is a suede pump with studded toe, metal heel, and ruffled chiffon ornament from Nicholas Kirkwood, 2014. Oh, suede. I would have thought it, it almost looks like satin, but it's suede. Okay. And then, ooh, that's definitely old. Let me look at it. It's like a duck. It almost looks like a an interesting heel on it. Look at that. I don't know what to say about it. I'm just going to read this. This is a quilted leather court shoe with braided silk satin trim and leather covered wooden Louis heels. These were from England circa 1710. My goodness. Well, it's held up really well. It was probably very, very well made. It's beautiful though. I like the color. A nice green. And then here we have some moccasins. I had an aunt who lived in California when I was a kid, and um, sometimes she would send us moccasins for us when we, when my brother and I were younger. He never wore them, but I always liked wearing mine. I thought they were so comfortable and so cool. These are traditional buckskin moccasins with beaded trim and metal capped horsehair tassels. They have the little bits of metal up there. And they're dyed, kind of an orange color. These are from South Pacific Peoples, circa 1750. Wow. That is remarkable. Look how beautiful they are. Just imagine the amount of craftsmanship that goes into something like that. That would be a wonderful thing to learn. Learn how to do something like Think how long it would take just to make a pair of shoes like that. That is really cool. I'm so glad that we have pieces of history like that that have been preserved. 
I just wonder what we have today that we would preserve that would be worth preserving things that people make. Oh, there are things people make now that I'm sure people in the future would want to see. Oh, look at this heel. Now this is festive. Look at that. That's a really interesting heel. And then you have like this little, it looks like a floating platform in pink. And then the sole is gray or the, the underside of it is gray. And you have this silver, it's like snake skin upper and a silver ankle strap with a little round silver buckle. And this part is a really pretty light blue. And the inside is light blue. Oh, and this is pink, the strap. These are mixed leather crystal sandals with acrylic platform and heel from Gianluca Tamburini, 2014. Whew, there's a lot going on with that shoe. Oh gosh, that's kind of weird. <laughs> it looks like it's floating. It's not though. It has little uh, clear straps here and up here too. Now this doesn't look like it's attached to anything, but it must be. It doesn't look like it is. It's just kind of out there. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just attached up there. That is a, there's no s arch support or heel, the ball of foot support or anything. You are just flat on the ground with that shoe. Oh, I couldn't wear these shoes. They'd kill me. Now these are leather apex sandals with a clear acrylic upper trimmed with zippers. All these are zippers. I just noticed that. <laughs> They're from Rupert's, R meh, Rupert Sanderson 2014. That's an interesting shoe. Oh, here's another boot. My goodness, that's a bit much for me. Now that is some, um, whew, I don't know. This is right here. This is a bit much, but look at what all you have going on. Now, Charity would love them. Look at all these huge rhinestones. You have clear ones and blue ones, and you also have little pearls and some chains on here, and it's really thick too. So it comes all the way around here, and then it goes under the boot as well. And then you have this little heel and then a bunch of furry stuff up here and it kind of comes down under that. These are suede pull-on quote-unquote cowboy boots with reindeer hair shaft and a jeweled harness from Cory Armenta 2014. Reindeer hair, wow. Okay. Oh gosh, look at this one. Ooh, that looks like the Leaning Tower of Pisa if you just look at that. <laughs> there you go. I'm leaning it the wrong way. I've never been there. I'm sorry. I'm just being silly. Now this is cool. So you're going to have a lot of laces. You have that really thin shoelace and a lot of laces. This looks like carved leather. That's a lot of work. Look at all the detail in that. These are brocade P Pisa. I knew it. See? Pisa. Ankle boots. So I wasn't wrong about that. They thought the same thing. It has acrylic leaning tower of Pisa as heel. I wonder if the heel actually leans. Looks pretty straight to me. So this is the, okay, this is made of acrylic and it's supposed to look like the leaning tower of Pisa. I swear I didn't look at that. That's just the first thing I thought. Now these are from Kermit Tesoro. 2012. How cool. <laughs> oh my god. Look at all the straps on this shoe. And they come way down too. These straps are so long. They're, they're going to hang way over. And your foot is going to be up off the ground because this is the part that actually comes into contact with the ground. Here's where the end, you know, your foot is up here. And you have this gap here. And even the bottom of the heel doesn't touch the ground because there's a piece between the heel and the floor. And then you have this little piece that comes up over the back of your heel there. But this part is going to be kind of out in the open. It's a beautiful color. I like that. Now these are patent leather platform with add-on printed leather toe and counter. 
These are from Mi Miyahi Albu, 2010. That's interesting. Oh, look at this one. It's like it's holding some dumbbells. <laughs> or Minnie Mouse's bow or something. Now you see you do have this nice heel here and it comes down like this. Pretty red color. The toe is a little more rounded on this one. A lot of them have those really pointy toes. This pair doesn't. Now these are Napa Daisy Pumps with a covered platform and minimalist bow from Minna Parika, 2014. I still say it looks like Minnie Mouse's hair bow. Now here, ooh, that's a chunky heel. This is just like a pile of wood because you have a block of wood here. And it's decorated down at the toe with two little dark colored blocks of wood. That's kind of weird. It looks like something my kid would make at school. It's like some sort of project or something. <laughs> like decorate this old pair of shoes using the stuff in the craft box. And this is what he would bring me. <laughs> the, you know, I bet these shoes cost more than my car. And I'm sitting here laughing at them. These are leather blocks, pumps with a wooden heel and block tassels. They're made by Dora Kloppenberg, 2014. So that's leather. It looks like, it just looks like fabric, like canvas, but I guess it's not. Oh my goodness, wow. What kind of material is that? It's like there's not even a sole, or it's not even an insole. You just have these little twisted pieces of material. I'm guessing maybe that's leather. And this is like a foam sole, but it's like it's cut in slits. And then for some reason, there's a little bow on the back. Oh, you know what it is? I bet there's a hole running through here, and they fed this through here to hold it all together because it comes out here, and then they've tied it. And you have the little, the little aglets here. I don't know if they're metal or what they are. It's pretty cool. These are leather kit shoes with synthetic foam block platform. So that is foam. And they're from Rod Roderick Peters, 2013. I don't, I don't like those. Those are kind of ugly. I don't know which one is worse. I, I don't really like those. I guess I'd go with that pair. I really don't like these. Oh, here's a pair that looks like a pair of fancy jelly shoes. They're like geometric patterns. I don't know if they're just different colors and it's an optical illusion. It looks like, um, it looks like the stuff they make jelly shoes out of. And it just has a single black strap that's attached on the underside. And it has a little buckle right there. These are low res faceted plastic pumps with a removable strap. So you can take that off. So they're basically fancy jelly shoes. They're faceted plastic pumps. God, I bet your feet get sweaty in those things. They're made by United Nude 2014. I think they need to stick to boots because that shoe is awful. My feet feel sweaty just looking at them. Didn't we just see that? I think we just, did we see this already? I, that's deja vu. We already saw that one. We did. I think it's in here twice. Am I crazy? Probably. Well, no, it's not exactly the same, actually. Okay, the heels are basically the same. Okay, but this part is different. But they have the same little platform. This one is a little thicker, it looks like. Now these are python skin crystal sandals with a faceted plastic heel. Um, this is acrylic and it says this is plastic and platform from the same manufacturer. Okay, I knew I wasn't crazy. I knew I had seen that somewhere. Okay. Oh, that well, looks like Harvest has been making shoes. And so this is like a knitted upper, and it's held on with these little nails, and it has a wooden little heel and a sole, and this little strap. They're actually kind of cute. I don't know if I would wear them, but they're, they're quirky. These are Veli 
traditional wooden soled sandals with a leather ankle strap and a garter stitch knitted yarn upper from Rosa Mosa 2012. Well, that's different. I like this shoe better. This is cool. Now these are some mules in a really pretty blue. I like the accent there on the top. Kind of a low heel. These are silk Hangisimu Mule Evening Slippers with a large rhinestone buckle by Manolo Blahnik. They're two, from 2014. I know I can't afford those. It's fun to look at them though. I would never wear these shoes in a month of Sundays, but they are fun to look at. Oh, look at that. My gosh. Well, that goes way up. So basically, you have this white sandal here with a high heel on it. That's about a four, four or five inch heel. And then one, two, three, four straps that are going to go around your calf with little adjustable buckles on there. And then you're going to have this on the front. Now these are patent calf leather, leather stiletto sandals with a strappy buckled shaft from Tanya Spinelli, 2014. Oh, lordy. I think I prefer the other pair to this one. My gosh. I don't even know what to say about them. They look like a sailboat. <laughs> lordy mercy. What in the world? I wouldn't even be able to find my foot in this shoe. These are Napa cantilevered bio biopiracy booties from Iris Van Herpen the 10th United Nude 2014. Oh, I do not like that at all. That's awful. I'd rather go with these right here, even though it looks like I'm getting ready to be a gladiator or something. I'd rather go with those. Oh, now these are cute. Look at the big bow on there. Wow. So you have this really pretty brown, and the whole shoe is done in that same color with a golden stripe and a wide strap with a buckle. And that great big bow. And then this part is open. These are metallic striped calfskin Georgia T-strap pointed toe pumps from Lawrence De Desaad Decaud Frank, I don't know, 2014. Hmm. Oh, that's a cool pattern. Look at that. Another really high heel there. It just comes straight down. It's a nice shape. It's a really, really interesting pattern. This is painted pony hair, a painted pony hair pump with a graphic motif from Joanne Stoker, 2014. Hmm. Oh yeah, you can kind of see the hair on it. I thought it was like a sort of fabric, but yeah, you can kind of see there's hair, so they had to paint them to make them look like I think I like that pair better. And then, oh, look, it's like a little drawing. Here's a cute little shoe. I don't know how, I don't like the neon yellowish green um, shoelace, though. I think I would have, I would have tried to match this purple. I probably would have gone with a purple shoelace. That's just me. Um, but it's, it's all right. It's, it's actually kind of cool. I like the heel on it. It's a nice purple. Yeah, I would have tried to match that color right there. These are peony lace-up, handmade using vintage Japanese silk kimono fabric from Hetty Rose, 2014. They're nice. I just don't like that color at that lace, the shoelace. These look like a pair of rain boots that got caught in a wood chipper. They, they do. I mean, what are you going to do with a shoe like this? Where would you wear this? I don't understand this shoe. You can't wear these anywhere. These are Ascension injection molded PVC platform shoes. Gareth Pugh for Melissa, 2014. So you have a little strap back there and your little toes are going to come out here. You can see a little bit of your foot there. And then you have this big old honking sheet of vinyl siding on there and no, that's, mm, I like that 
shoe better even with the ugly yellow shoelace. Oh, here's a, oh, I love these. These are like riding boots. These are nice. I even like the green, and I don't think I would ever say that I would like a lime green on a riding boot, but that is a cool boot. Look at that. See, I have the shiny stuff here, and it's strapped down here, and then you have just the boot here. Those are nice. These are two-tone waterproof plastic riding boots from Melissa, 2014. I like those. And then we have a sandal. I like the boots better. And look at the sole on there. It's like little teeth. It's a pretty color. It's kind of a rose gold color. So you have this wide ankle strap with a golden buckle. And then you just have these straps over the top of the feet here. These are metallic leather sandals with a treaded rubber sole from Attilio Giusti Liam Bruni, 2014. They're okay. I like the color, but I like those boots better. And finally, we have this page. Oh my god, look at, look at all the sequins and beads on this boot. Wow. So you have whole rows of sequins alternated with little beads like little faux pearls. Some of the sequins are gold. Some of them are silver. Oh, and then you have these little chains too hanging down here. That's a cool shoe. And the heel does this weird thing where it kind of comes down and awkwardly like that. It's kind of interesting. Now these are Giuseppe ankle booties with Pave Vintage Sequin Embroidery from Ivanka Ska. 2014. That is a cool little boot. It looks like it would be really heavy, though. I mean, maybe it's not, but it just looks like this would be a very heavy boot. Oh, I like these better. Oh, these are pretty. You have this beautiful blue with the gold. Oh. I mean, these are cool. I like these sandals better. Oh, neato. You have this little thin gold strap with the little buckles on the sides. These cute little skinny heels and the little peep toes. And the inside is kind of a fawn color. Now these are suede T-strap platform. Oh, it is a platform. Peep toe pumps with metallic kid leather from Recabago Reca 2014. That's a pretty, pretty pair of shoes. I like those. I mean, these are very creative, I will definitely say that, but I like these better. So that's just a little look at a few of the pages from the little page a day calendar. I'll put a link in the description to the other video if I can find it, where um, we looked at some other, some more shoes from this, catal from this calendar, if you'd like to check it out. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed looking at all of these shoes. I really did. <laughs> and I will see you again really soon.